And defense coordinator Vance Joseph, he told us, just kind of showed him that it's it's really just missed assignments, guys. It's just one little guy, one little missed assignment here. Somebody not working within the framework of the scheme over here. Buffalo Bills have a secret sauce versus the Denver Broncos and Sean Payton. And just like that, Broncos insider mentioned they struggle at the crossing routes, something that the Buffalo Bills have really excelled at this year. I put together this infographic dating from 2011 through 2016, all the times that Sean McDermott played Sean Payton. When you look at the total amount of wins, McDermott won seven times, Sean Payton won five times. The point differential margin and all of the wins, you could see that the Carolina Panthers had 60 points and the New Orleans Saints had 70 points. Now the intel galore is about to start and we're going to start looking at the coaching trees of all of these coaches on our team and also their team and you're going to find a lot of connections. The first thing I want to look at is Sean Payton, obviously the head coach now of the Denver Broncos. Just take a look at his background. Starting as an offensive assistant in 1988, a running backs wide receiver coach, you know, running backs coach, a quarterback coach in Illinois in 1996 quarterback coach in 1999 with the Giants and obviously offensive coordinator with the Giants after that but he's been primarily on the offensive side of the football whereas our guy Sean McDermott primarily on the defensive side of the football obviously dealing with defensive backs throughout his career with the Eagles playing defensive back dating back to William and Mary in college, but obviously becoming the defensive coordinator for the Carolina Panthers between 2011 and 2016. So the facts are Sean McDermott, a defensive-minded coach, going against Sean Payton, an offensive-minded coach, while he was defensive coordinator in the Carolina Panthers, and Sean McDermott was 7-5 and five going against that defense. Now this is where things start getting very interesting. Joe Brady, our quarterback coach right now for the Buffalo Bills, spent time not only at William and Mary, but was the offensive assistant to Sean Payton in 2017 as well as 2018. But being the offensive assistant under Sean Payton, who is an offensive minded coach for two years, 2017 and 2018, I think there's some additional intel that Joe Brady has and can present to the Buffalo Bills and Sean McDermott to prepare against the Denver Broncos. Joe Brady was a linebacker coach at William & Mary, became a graduate assistant at Penn State, not necessarily working on the offensive side of the football, becomes an offensive assistant under Sean Payton, and what happens? He goes on to LSU in 2019 and balls out of control. 2019 Brady joined the LSU Tigers as their passing game coordinator and wide receiver coach. He was recognized as the top assistant coach during the 2019 college football season, and Brady was honored with the 24th annual Broyles Award. He emerged as a leading candidate for numerous offensive coordinator vacancies in the NFL, and he eventually became the offensive coordinator for the Carolina Panthers in 2020. The proof is there that Joe Brady learned a lot from Sean Payton since he moved on to LSU and became one of the best emerging coaches in college football. Now the connections don't stop there. You can see Vance Joseph here for the Denver Broncos being their defensive coordinator. Well, guess what? Josh Allen has gone against him in his career in the NFL. Let's see how he fared. And I think we all remember this game here, Buffalo Bills versus the Arizona Cardinals. Vance Joseph was the defensive coordinator for the Arizona Cardinals in 2020. And I think we all remember the Hal Murray pass. We ended up losing 32-20. to 20. Facts are Josh Allen has gone against Vance Joseph in the past, just like he's gone against Vic Fangio in the past. So we could try to draw some comparisons in what the Buffalo Bills are going to excel at. Intel doesn't stop there because when we played the Arizona Cardinals in 2020, we had Ken Dorsey as a quarterback coach in 2019 and 2020. So not only did Josh Allen go against Vance Joseph and the Arizona Cardinals during that Hail Mary loss, but Ken Dorsey was there and he learned from that experience. In that 32 to 30 loss, the Hail Mary pass at the very end of the game, Josh Allen went 32 of 49, 284 passing yards, 
two touchdowns, but he did have two interceptions, no sacks. Now, what I find most interesting about this matchup, and it goes back to what that Denver Broncos insider stated at the beginning of this video, is that they struggle on those shorter, shallow crossing routes. You can clearly see Cole Beasley and Stefan Diggs who are and were dominant in those shallow crossing routes in the short route tree, Cole Beasley led the Buffalo Bills team versus the Arizona Cardinals with 11 receptions, 199 yards, and a touchdown. This to me is a signal for Dalton Kincaid, our first round rookie tight end, who is said to be replacing a skill set like Cole Beasley. I'm anticipating a big game for Dalton Kincaid in this matchup, as well as Stefan Diggs. Stefan Diggs came away with 10 receptions, 93 yards, and a touchdown. The formula to beat a Vance Joseph defense has already been released, and I really believe the Buffalo Bills have been working on this shallow route tree all season long. Those two high safety shells playing a lot of zone coverage. They do decide to play a little bit of man coverage. We have a guy like Dalton Kincaid and Stefan Diggs who are man beaters. They not only have the feel to sit in zone coverage, they really are dual purpose threats in the sense that they can beat man and they can beat zone. The Bills could potentially get a little bit more intel from our wide receiver, Trent Sherfield, who was a part of this team, obviously is familiar with Vance Joseph, maybe going against his defense and training camp, just getting a little bit of a feel in his tendencies. Maybe Trent Sherfield has some information that he could reveal about this Vance Joseph defense. You really think about the no sacks allowed in this first matchup when the Buffalo Bills offensive line was really not too good. The Buffalo Bills offensive line in 2023 is a top tier offensive offensive line. Josh Allen is hardly getting any quarterback hits, let alone sacks this season. Do the Bills have some intel on Vance Joseph? Well, we definitely have a little bit more intel for this defensive coordinator because he was the head coach between 2017 and 2018 for the Denver Broncos, and we all know who was there, Mr. Von Miller. Von Miller played under Vance Joseph. Von Miller understands Vance Joseph's tendencies. He understands this defense, and I know Von Miller could definitely present a lot of intel to Sean McDermott, Ken Dorsey, as to how to play them, maybe their weak points, what they struggle at, how to attack them. I love all the intel the Buffalo Bills having going into this game. Sean McDermott understanding Sean Payton in only year one of his regime under the Denver Broncos. Bills, man, we have been building this thing for years. I think that is a huge advantage. Plus, understanding that Sean McDermott knows Sean Payton. Understanding that our quarterback coach, Joe Brady, worked under Sean Payton for two years. Being that we're in the seventh year with Sean McDermott here, the complexity of this defense, Sean Payton really isn't going to know all the ins and outs of a Sean McDermott defense. Whereas Sean McDermott understanding Sean Payton in only one year with Russell Wilson in this offense, they're going to have a much more basic, less complex offense. And I think Sean McDermott will have a better understanding of their foundation and what they're trying to accomplish. Plus, you look at Joe Brady, our current quarterback coach, working alongside Sean Payton as an offensive assistant and the intel that he could present to Sean McDermott really some more information that this Buffalo Bills defense can work with, having a better understanding of Sean Payton and what they're trying to accomplish offensively. Josh Allen playing against a Vance Joseph. Ken Dorsey already playing against a Vance Joseph defense. Trent Sherfield being on that team with Vance Joseph. And Von Miller playing under defensive coordinator Vance Joseph in 2017 and 2018. Definitely presents a ton of information that the Buffalo Bills can work with against the Denver Broncos in this Monday night matchup. And the one thing that is going great for this Buffalo Bills defense is our pass rush. We are still a top five pass rush in the NFL, sacking and hitting opposing quarterbacks like crazy. And one thing we hear that Russell Wilson loves to do is hold on to the ball. Russ has held on to the football quite a bit. We all know that's been his MO his whole career, right? And holding on to the football and, and doing things like that. And now he's holding on to the football still and not escaping as well as he used to in seasons past back in Seattle when he maybe was a little bit more spry. How difficult it's going to be for this offensive line, specifically because this game is at night. 
and in Buffalo. You're right. You know how like, the, the extra jump that could be there. It's going to be difficult for offensive linemen to hear, difficult for offensive linemen to handle a defensive line like Buffalo has. He's the type of player this offensive line really struggles with. Protecting Russell Wilson has been an issue. Russell Wilson was outstanding in Seattle, the number one play action quarterback for years. He made a living off of deep seam routes and setting up things off play action. And, you know, they struggle immensely with pass protection. This is a get right game for the Bills up front if they want to get after the passer. He loves having explosive plays. He's not necessarily a rhythm passer. He likes holding onto the ball and throwing the ball deep. And that does not mix with this Buffalo Bills defense who ultimately wants to force opposing quarterbacks to hold on to that ball a little bit longer and bet on this pass rush to get to him. A pass rush with Von Miller getting healthier and healthier. Von Miller going against his former team, the Denver Broncos. You have to expect that he's going to be hyped up for this game. First glance, you might just say, oh, it's Sean versus Sean. Sean Payton versus Sean McDermott in the history that they have going back to Carolina and the Saints. But it gets much, much deeper than that. The Buffalo Bills have a ton of intel to work with here. And I think the Buffalo Bills match up very well against the Denver Broncos. Even hearing that insider for the Broncos state, their struggles. Taking a look at Vance Joseph's history with the Bills in 2020. Seeing Cole Beasley be dominant. Seeing Stephon Diggs be dominant. I think we have the players on this team with Kincaid. And we still have Diggs to dominate. Plus, with a better offensive line, with better talent overall on offense and on defense, we got James Cook, Latavius Murray, maybe Leonard Fournette comes back. We have Razul Douglas, who now has about a week of practice versus two days of practice going against the Cincinnati Bengals, as well as Linval Joseph. I really think the Buffalo Bills could put up a dominant performance versus the Broncos. I know Bills Mafia seems awfully nervous right now at a 5-4 and four record with one of the toughest remaining schedules in the league, but I've been saying that all along. All we have to do is win the AFC East, solidify ourselves in the playoffs. Miami is one game ahead of us. We play Miami again, and we already beat them. Miami's schedule is awfully tough, too. Once we get into the playoffs, once you get into that rodeo, anything is possible. Just like the New York Giants in 2011 who finished the season 9-7 and and ended up going and winning the Super Bowl. This is a perfect game for the Buffalo Bills to get back on track, to get back to our winning ways. The ball sometimes just bounces funny and it bounces right into the opposing team's hands. But right when these stars align, right when that ball starts bouncing back our way, look out. Appreciate you guys. If you enjoyed this video and want to support my efforts to keep this channel alive and keep these videos coming, please hit like, subscribe for future content too. I will be going live during the game as well. So I hope you guys decide to come and join me. Appreciate every single one of you so, so much. Appreciate all the positivity in the comments below. Hit like, subscribe, and go Bills.